Okay, now, uh, Katsu had some requests about dealing with some problems, problems having uh, joining up the hands when you're trying to go finish your guillotine, okay? And uh, what, you were, what he was mentioning was when he's up, he's working for his guillotine here, the main thing was his a partner or his opponent is getting their shoulder and chest pressed forward to his shoulder and chest so that he can't join his hands together, okay? Now, let's back a little bit. Um, so from here, the, f the first thing is just that for, the, for guillotines, yes, you do have to be fast. You have to be quick on the grip fighting, okay? Um, but I suspect I'm gonna show something uh, that's not gonna specifically address grip fighting, but I think might solve your problem, and then you can let me know if this, if this helps. Uh, but it's more about my, some of the angles I'm gonna make when I go for my approach, okay? So I'm, you said a guillotine from bottom. I don't know specifically where you're setting it up. I'm just gonna do a basic one from close guard, right? We're going for our hip bump sweep, boom. My partner leans forward. Now, from here, what I need to make sure I'm doing is a couple main things. I don't want to come straight back and be sitting on both of my hips, okay? Because this is going to be one of the first things that's going to allow him to drive his chest and his shoulder straight into me before I can connect my hands, okay? So the first thing is when I, when I go up for my hip bump and then I'm going for my guillotine, I actually want to I try, if I can, I try to jump my left hip to my posted hand, my right hand. So I don't want to be square, but as my partner drives on me here, I'm going to switch, okay, all the way through to my left side. Now, what happens here is this is going to open up this space, okay? Or if he tries to eliminate that space by throwing this underhook high, I still have the head and arm guillotine, okay? Or the arm and guillotine, I mean, okay? Bit. So from here, shoot up. Okay. So the first thing is, I'm not trying to land on my tailbone. I'm trying to land left hip by my right posted hand. Next thing is, my armpit is doing a strong downward motion on the back of my partner's head. Okay. This is going to help separate. I'm going to get him, his shoulders separated far from his hips his spine parallel to the mat. This is gonna open up the most space for me to work with under his neck. Okay. So that's gonna be done with my armpit and tricep coming down on the back of my partner's head. The last thing I need to think about, jumping my hips to the side and jumping my hips back. So when my partner comes to flatten me out, go ahead, drive forward. Okay, I wanna be hips back, shoulders forward, like a good butterfly guard. Because first of all, now, when my partner comes to drive me forward, it's difficult. I can resist for a couple seconds, okay? I'm always now falling to the side, not straight backwards. So if we come this way here, okay, just drive into me here, okay? So go ahead, drive in. So here, I want to have my, <laughs> on my side, shoulder and chest forward. So if he tries to put my back on the mat, I can resist for a second, okay? And what this does is, when I push in, it makes this little space right here for my arm. Or again, if he throws a high underhook to stop me, I just go arm in, guillotine. Okay, now, back to this side. The final thing, switch back a little bit. Good. The final thing when he's driving in here to me, okay, I have my hips back behind my shoulders. I push my shoulder in, okay? You see how my shoulder is gonna cover like the nape of his neck, pushing my shoulder in. When I go for my finish, whether it's head and arm or not, I go down to my side and I bring my elbow to my belly button in this way, okay? From here, I, as, even if he's pulling down on my hands, even if he gets his hands on my wrist and he's pulling down, okay, I can push my armpit on the back of his neck for the tap, okay? So the other question was when they're, when they're pulling down on the hands, if you have the hands joined up, you can still, even as they're pulling down, you can kind of chase them. Chase them with your armpit, like this, okay? Uh, one final thing, just one final thing to think about is, if you're going for the guillotine and it's not working, right? 
you're not getting your attack, you can always start to work a sweep with it. Okay? You can, you know, there's one-handed fancy finishes here, but if you can't get your guillotine, you can at least get a sweep out of it. Okay? Now, let's look at um, kind of a worst case scenario for the guillotine, which would be, you know, if I shot my, actually let's see, if I did this side, my guillotine, and my partner is starting to pass my guard. Right, he's getting around, yeah, getting around my, my guard here like this, good, freeze, okay? So, what's happened here is, of course we know when he gets his hips and his head to opposite sides of my body, this is a really bad situation for my guillotine, right? One little last ditch effort thing I can do here before he finishes his guard pass is I can post and I'm gonna throw my shoulder forward, okay? Like a technical stand, I'm gonna throw my shoulder forward and hip out on it. Or not hip out, but pull my knee back. Okay. Now, what was the whole problem we ran into here? That his hips got to the opposite side of my body from his head. Okay. So I drive in with my shoulder. I drive in with my shoulder. I technical stand out, and now I want to make sure I switch sides for my guillotine. So the another common thing that you're gonna find, again, I'm not directly addressing like a grip fighting problem, but I suspect something that's happening is you're staying too square with your partner when you're going for your guillotines. When I go for a guillotine, I want my partner's head all the way through his neck, through the whole length of his spine, down his tailbone, completely on one side of that same line on my body, okay? My head, spine, tailbone, all the way on one side. Okay, so when we're here, when I come out to my side like this, it's much harder for him to close this space where my hand can come in and join up, okay? As soon as my partner starts to walk flat, uh, crab walk into me, flag me out a little bit, his, right here, his shoulder is on my chest. Okay, let's, let's show him a different angle here. So from here, I pull, snap, get okay, here, even without having my, uh, my hands joined up, when I hip out, I can get my hand in there, okay? But as soon as my partner starts to crab walk me, right there, his shoulder's on my chest, okay? So I suspect something that's gonna help you a lot is not focus only on the grip fighting, but your head, your shoulders, your hips, out from under your partner. It's gonna allow you to join up your hands much easier, okay?